Hi, hello everyone. This is Shashank. I'm back with tutorial 2 of Zigbee, which briefly presents you the Zigbee architecture and its components. Here is my first slide, which starts with the summary of the presentation, which includes introduction of a Zigbee network, architecture of a Zigbee network, and the network topology supported by a Zigbee network. Before going in details of a Zigbee network, let's remind few things such as objective and characteristics of a Zigbee network. Here are the main objectives of a Zigbee network which are explained in my tutorial one. So just please have a look at this slide. And the next slide presents you the characteristics of a Zigbee network which are also explained in my tutorial one. And and just have a look at this slide too. And the next slide presents you a block diagram which are the basic component present in a Zigbee network and explains you their roles. A system conforming to this standard consists of several components. Two different types of devices can participate in a IEEE 802.15.4 network, a fully functional device and a reduced functional device. A fully functional device is otherwise in short called as FFD and reduced functional function device is otherwise called as RFD. The FFD can operate in three modes serving as a personal area network coordinator or a coordinator or a device whereas RFD can operate only as a device. An FFD can talk to RFDs or other FFDs while an RFD can talk only to an FFD. An RFD is intended for applications that are extremely simple such as light switch or a passive infrared sensor. They do not have the need to send large amount of amounts of data and, mo and may only associate with a single FFD at a time. Consequently, the RFD can be implemented using minimal resources and memory capacity. The most basic component in a wireless personal area network is the device. A device may be an RFD or an FFD. Two or more devices with the personal operating space communicating on the same physical ch channel constitute a WPAN. However, this WPAN shall include at least one FFD operating as the PAN coordinator. The functionality of the PAN coordinator are as follows. It initiates network, it stores information about the network, it allows devices communicate with the PAN coordinator and it stores the routing algorithm of the network and it acts as a bridge to other network. Similarly in a WPAN network few de devices might function as a coordinator. Coordinator func functionality is as below. It's an optional component in a network. It routes or it acts like a router between nodes it, it is capable of extending the network coverage area and it manages local address allocation and deallocation the most important and the least component in your WPAN network is a device characteristics of your device in your WPAN are as follows device can be an FFD or RFD based on application optimized for low power consumption and it's it is the cheapest device type in the network and it communicates only with the coordinator or a pan coordinator i hope everyone might have understood the basic components required to form a zigbee network and the role of operation in the next slide i will show you the network type supported by the zigbee depending on the application requirements a WPAN may operate in either of two topologies, the star topology or the peer-to-peer -to -peer topology. Both are shown in figure. 
in star topology the communication is established between devices and a single central controller called the pan coordinator a device typically has some associated application and is either the initiation point or the termination point of our network communications the peer to peer topology also has a pan coordinator however it differs from the star topology in that any device may communicate with any other device as long as they are in range of one another peer to peer topology allows more complex network formations to be implemented such as mesh networking topology applications such as industrial control and monitoring wireless sensor networks asset and inventory tracking intelligence agriculture and security would benefit from such a network topology a peer to peer network can be ad hoc self organizing and self healing it may also allow multiple hops to route messages messages from any device to any other device on the network such functions can be added at the higher layer but are not part of this time at the higher layer i hope everyone like this tutorial please provide me feedback to improve my presentation